what's up guys and welcome back so today we are going to be talking about my makeup bag this little guy over here is going to be the star of the show today because I really wanted to show you guys all of the things that I keep in my on-the-go makeup bag so this little guy basically contains all of the items that I need when I'm not in my home so this is the bag that I like to bring with me um, to the gym it's also the makeup bag that I like to bring with me if I'm ever staying overnight somewhere and I need not only my makeup but I also need my other necessities like some hair products, skincare, body care. I've consolidated all of my favorite and must-have products that I need in those circumstances and I've put it in this beautiful makeup bag. So I'm going to be going through all of it today and as you can probably tell I'm wearing zero makeup on my face so I am going to be putting the makeup that I have in here on my face as I talk about it just so that it's a little bit more informative and also a little bit more entertaining for you guys to watch. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's video, find it helpful. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below as per usual. I would love to know some of your must-haves in your on-the-go makeup bag what are some products that you really feel like you can uh, live without and also give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you want to join the fam so without further ado Let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, let's talk about the actual makeup bags. I actually received this as a gift, so I'm not exactly sure where you can get this, but I will do some research and link it down below, I promise. But I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite makeup bags that I have in my collection for a few different reasons. First of all, the actual quality and feel of this bag is so beautiful. It feels really nice and sturdy, which is awesome because um, I don't really like to baby my makeup bags. I often will just throw them around, especially because I like to bring this to the gym. I will just literally just catapult it into my gym bag and I can have the products that are inside of it break so it's really nice that this does have like a bit of like a harder exterior so it's going to protect everything that's in there which is a plus plus awesome besides the look and feel of the bag my favorite part of it is the fact that it has two different compartments because I really don't like makeup bags that have just one giant pouch I find them really difficult to sort of navigate um, especially when I'm mixing toiletries and skincare products with makeup it can sometimes get a little bit annoying to try and find what I'm looking for so this bag does have two different compartments the bottom one is a little bit larger so that's where I keep my larger toiletry items and then the top is where I like to keep my smaller brushes as well as my actual makeup item so before we jump into the makeup part I do want to first talk about all of my toiletries and all the products that I basically always have to have with me so first let's talk about skincare so the main thing that I try and do when I'm packing a makeup bag is not to include options because that's just gonna be a recipe for disaster when you're trying not to like overpack or overstuff your makeup bag and it's just not necessary take what you need take what you know you love and that's it so for my skincare products I like to bring four different products I have my face wash my face moisturizer my lip balm and then my makeup remover so for my face wash one of my go-to's for a really long time has been the first day beauty pure skin face cleanser this is just a really simple gentle cleanser there's really not much to say about it I've been using this stuff for years and I like the size of this I like that it's not too big or too bulky so it really fits great in a smaller makeup bag for my moisturizer this is actually a little bit newer in my life but I've been really enjoying it it's the dr. Jart sicka pear derma green solution tiger grass cream and this is basically for sensitive skin with redness because it is winter right now my skin has been feeling really extra dry flaky and red so I picked this up hoping that it would help it out and I've actually been really enjoying it and I also really love to wear this product underneath makeup and I feel like when I have this product on I don't have to go in with like an extra moisturizing primer which is awesome because that means I don't have to pack another primer in my makeup bag so this sort of does a little bit of like a two-in-one for me for my lip balm one of my current favorites is the Clarins Hydra Essential Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm with Blue Lotus Wax this is just again a really simple lip balm but it works really really well it makes my lips feel so nice and like juicy and luscious and just really moisturized this is such a must for me again especially since it is winter time it's super dry outside I put so many layers of this on my lips for my makeup remover this is one of my favorites It's the Clinique take the day off makeup remover for lids lashes and lips this is a little travel size version I actually got this as like a point perk at Sephora when I saw that they had this as a point perk at Sephora I, I got I'm not kidding I think like five of them out once because I use these so much especially when traveling so besides skincare I obviously like to also bring my deodorant with me and this portion of today's video is in partnership with Kapari which is so awesome because I have been using this deodorant for probably like two ish months now I actually picked it up because Whitney Simmons was raving about this in one of her monthly favorites videos so I picked it up right after watching that video and I've been using it pretty much ever since so I was very very excited when Kapari reached out and wanted to partner up with me and to talk about this deodorant because I use it 
every single day and is by far one of my favorite natural deodorants that I've ever tried. So this is pretty much an aluminum free natural deodorant and if you have ever tried a natural deodorant, you know that it's not the easiest to find one that actually works. I have tried so many, like so many different types of natural deodorants because I really like to make sure that my deodorants are aluminum free and don't have really gross ingredients in them. And unfortunately, a lot of the deodorants that don't have gross ingredients in them just don't work. They either make you smell bad or they make you sweat like crazy. This is one of the very, very few natural deodorants that I've tried that actually works. So the deodorant does come in an unscented version, which is the one that I use most. And then it does also come in a scented version, which smells like vanilla coconut, but it's very subtle. It's not like a very offensive scent whatsoever. I also love the fact that there is zero residue with this deodorant, so you get no weird white marks. There was another natural deodorant that I was using for a while and I really did like it, but it left like the most unflattering really chunky white residue underneath the arms which was so annoying this is completely clear it's not sticky at all and it just glides on without a problem that is the deodorant that I've been using it works amazingly well like I said I bring this makeup bag with me to the gym and I use this deodorant and it works perfectly and I sweat a lot so that says a lot. I also like to bring a toothbrush and toothpaste with me in this makeup bag just because you just you never know You never know where you may want a little bit of like fresher breath So I have been using the Kapari coconut toothpaste which tastes delicious It is minty coconut flavor and I never thought that I would actually enjoy the taste of toothpaste as much as I enjoy this one It honestly tastes sort of like candy if you're curious about the other Kopari mouth centered products They also have these little sachets and um, their coconut oil oil for pulling and they're all flavored. There's mint, pina colada, and vanilla coconut. And what you do is you basically just like soften it up in the little sachet. You put it in your mouth, you swish it around and it's supposed to make your breath smell really nice and fresh. And it's supposed to just like clean your teeth. I actually haven't tried this one yet, but I am looking forward to trying it out. All right, so now moving on to hair products. The only hair product that I like to keep in my makeup bag is just a dry texturizing spray. This is the Orbe dry texturizing spray. This stuff smells like actual heaven. I like to definitely bring a heavily fragrance hair product with me because like I said I bring this to the gym sometimes I do get a little bit sweaty or a lot sweaty and I want to sort of freshen up my hair by adding a little bit of fragrance so that I don't smell bad and it's a texturizing spray so it just gives my hair some really nice texture and volume I actually have another lip balm in here this is the Lano lips tinted lip balm so if I'm feeling a little bit fancier and I don't want to go with like my normal non tinted lip balm then I will go with this one it's still really really nice and hydrating but it has a really beautiful soft pink finish to it which is just super flattering, very easy to wear, and just like a great go-to if I want a little bit of color. As far as the extras that I keep in here, I like to keep an extra hair elastic. This is just my way in case of emergency hair elastic. So I basically just keep on like refilling this with more hair ties as I use them because let's be real, I lose all of my hair ties. I also keep two of my larger brushes in here, but I will get into that once I start applying my makeup. And then lastly, I like to keep my eyelash curler. So now let's actually move on to the makeup. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and let's get started applying. So here's an overview of what the top portion of my makeup bag actually looks like. All the makeup is in here. So the top portion of this makeup bag does have two separate pouches. So I do actually like to keep my smaller makeup brushes in here just so again, they don't get dirty or messed up and they're just like protected. So as far as the brushes that I like to keep with me, I don't like to overdo it. I only like to bring a few. So I bring three eye brushes. I have a small blending brush. This is my Smith 235 a larger blending brush. This is my Smith 232. And then I also like to bring a little tiny detail brush. This is my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH42, which is like the perfect small little smudger. And then for my larger brushes, again, I keep in simple. I have a small little blush brush. This is actually my Rouge gift from 2018. I have a bronzer brush. This is my Zoeva 108 face finish. It's a really nice, precise, but fluffy brush. This brush over here is what I like to use to apply my under eye powder. It's a Sigma Spotlight Duster F37. It works really nicely right underneath the eyes. And then for my foundation, I have been using my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH03. So for my foundation, the foundation that I've been keeping in this makeup bag for quite a while actually has been the YSL Touche Clat All in One Glow Foundation. I really like this because it's very lightweight it's really glowy. It's sort of like a no fail foundation for me. It also does have some really nice coverage and it's just like a really easy foundation for me to wear. But the reason why I do really enjoy bringing this foundation with me in particular is because it is pretty buildable. I am able to get pretty close to like a medium full coverage with this as long as I build it up. And I am also able to get something pretty light and sheer if I just use a really small amount. So I do like to have that versatility. 
Next up for my concealer, I have been using the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. I've been using this quite a lot recently. It's one of my current favorites. It's a really great just everyday concealer. It has really nice coverage, super lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy or look heavy underneath the eyes and it just, it works really well. So I always take the same brush and just use that to pat it out. And by the way, if you're wondering what shades I'm using for the foundation, I'm using B40, which is, like I said, a little bit too dark for me. And the concealer is in number two. But next up for my powder, I like to bring my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Micro Perfecting Setting Powder in One Fair. As you can see, I'm actually hitting pan on this product. That's how much I use it. This is one of my favorite powders to use to set my under eyes with because it's really nice and brightening. It's also very lightweight and never looks heavy. Um, and I also will always use this to set sort of just like the center of my face just so things don't move around. For all my makeup bags, I almost always like to bring pressed powders with me. There's a lot of loose powders that I really love. They're just really bulky and take up a ton of room and honestly pretty messy. So especially when I am getting ready in like a public area, like at the gym, I don't like to have like messy products with me because they'll start to get all over the place. It'll get a little bit just annoying. So for my bronzer, remember when I said not to bring options? This is the only thing that I have options for, but most of the time I do use them together. So the very first bronzer product that I like to bring with me is a cream bronzer and this is my Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. Are you surprised? You guys know this is one of my favorite cream bronzers. This one is actually almost completely finished. So I do like to bring a cream bronzer because it just gives a little bit more of a natural look. And if I want a bit more of like a no makeup makeup look, then this is great. But if I don't want a no makeup makeup look and I want my bronzer to be a little bit more intense, then I will layer this with a powder. And by layering it, it also makes it last a lot longer. So normally I just take the same brush that I've been using for my foundation concealer and just blend that out. So you see how pretty and natural that bronzing looks. It's so nice, but sometimes I do want it to be a little bit more intense. And for that, I do like to use this little Becca powder that I have here. This is the Becca Gradient Sunlight Bronzer in Sunrise Waves. So what I really like about this bronzer in particular is that there is actually a little highlighter in here. So you have three bronzer shades right in the middle and then on either side, there is opal highlighter. So what I do is when I bronze, I try to avoid the highlighter part actually, but I do like to use the little highlighter on my brow bone and on my inner corner. So I will always go in with my small little detail brush, this little guy, and I'll pick up the highlighter and use that on my eyes. Sometimes I'll even just take my finger and take the highlighter and put it all over my lid for a really quick eye look. I just really like this product because it is sort of like a two-in-one, especially for makeup bag makeup. I always like to throw in those makeup products that are really versatile and that can do more than one thing just to, again, save room and to maximize the products that I do put in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my bronzer brush and just pick up the center part of the powder and just very lightly sort of just go over the bronzer that I already applied. Put some down my neck as well and on my jawline. And for my blush, I always keep with me the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush in Pink Pop. I really like this because it's just a really universal blush. No matter what eye look I decide to do, I always feel like this will always go because it's just a simple pink blush. I also love how small and compact this is, so it takes up pretty much no room, and it's also very sturdy. So I'm taking my little blush brush, and I'm just gonna put some of this on the apples of my cheeks. And this is a very sheer formula, so it's pretty much impossible to over apply this. So normally I'll just, you know, be sitting here for a bit, just like building this up until I'm happy with the way it looks. For my highlighter, I do only have one highlighter in here. It's the Nude Six Hey Honey, one of my favorites. It's a really pretty golden shade. I do like this cream highlighter because it just gives my skin a really nice glossy finish. It's not too intense or too over the top and it's super easy and quick to apply as well. So I just sort of tap it on the tops of my cheekbones and call it a day. So let's talk brows. For brows, I like to bring two different products. Of course, I have my brow gel. This is my Benefit Ready Set Brow Brow Gel. It is one of my all-time favorite brow gels. This gives me the fluffiest, fluffiest looking brows. It cements them in place. It's one of the best. I absolutely adore this. And then I also like to bring my MAC um, Brow Pen. This is the Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the shade Lingering. I feel like it gives my brows a really nice natural effect and I just really like the combo of the two. So just take my brow pen and just sort of put in a few strokes to fill in any gaps. With a brow pen, you do need to be sort of careful not to apply with too much like of a heavy hand because then you'll get something really blocky. But if you 
apply with a really light hand and only where you need it, you're gonna get a very, very natural look to your brows. And then of course, going in with my brow gel and just sort of brushing all the hairs upwards and it defines like every single hair and just makes them look incredibly fluffy, I'm obsessed. For the eyes, there are very few products that I like to bring for the eyes, literally only three. I have my mascara, of course, my Hourglass Caution. Do I need to say much more about this? It's my all-time favorite mascara. It's so waterproof. It does not flake or smudge or move on me, and that's why I love it. It's sort of like a no-fails. I literally have one of these in every single makeup bag that I have. For eyeliner, I typically just throw in a liquid eyeliner, whatever liquid eyeliner I'm using at the moment. This is my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner in black. And then for my eyeshadow, I like to bring small little eyeshadow palettes, definitely nothing bigger than the palm of my hand. So either the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes, the Smashbox ones, the little like tiny ones or lately I've been using this Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat which is a really great one because I really feel like it has everything that you need in such a small little convenient package. I'm gonna do the quickest eye look ever just to sort of show you guys what you can do with this palette. So I'm gonna be taking Hot Spell which is this middle shade right here and I'm just gonna pop that on my upper crease with my Smith 232. This is literally all that I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna take the highlight shade in this palette and just pop that all over my lid. Just to sort of show you guys the versatility of the products that I chose, I'm going to take the Becca Compact and I'm taking my small little brush and grabbing the highlight shade on the side, which is opal, and just popping that on the inner corner and brow bone. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just pop on my mascara and then we're pretty much all done. Almost forgot, last but not least for the lips, I'm just gonna throw on my Lano Lips Tinted Lip Balm. I don't really bring any other lip products with me in this bag. And whatever lip products I'm loving at the moment, I normally just throw on my actual purse. So I just don't feel like it's necessary, but I'm gonna throw on this lip balm. And it gives the perfect tint anyway. I love this color. So guys, that actually finishes off today's video. Those are all the products that were in this makeup bag. Right now it is completely empty, but I'm gonna fill it back up once again. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and found this video helpful. Once again, thank you so much to Kopari for partnering up with me on a portion of today's video. I was very excited to do so. Guys, don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below. Let me know your thoughts on the makeup bag that I put together. And of course, let me know some of your go-to items that you put in your on-the-go makeup bag. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.